Hi, I'm Sips. And I'm Mish. And this is The Hit List. Today we're talking primetime Emmys. Our most epic moments and some of our predictions. Let's start off with one of my favorites. Jimmy Fallon hosting the 2010 Emmy Awards, where he got some help from the Glee cast, where they had an awesome Born to Run montage, which I just can't get enough of. My epic moment was from last year when Viola Davis won Best Actress in a Drama for How to Get Away with Murder. She was the first African American to win an award. I mean, amazing. I totally agree. Sticking to last year, I absolutely loved Amy Poehler and Amy Schumer when they helped to kick off the ceremony. It was incredible. I might just like Amy Squared just as much as Tina Fey and Amy Poehler. I'm just saying. Moving on to some saucy moments when Matthew Perry kissed Doris Roberts as she accepted her award in 2003. I mean, her reaction was priceless. Like, while well, that was totally worth coming up here for. <laughs> that reminds me of Julia Louis-Dreyfus and when she went up for her lead actress in a comedy award and Brian Cranston decided to swoop in for a smooch. It seems like these award shows just can't happen without a kiss. Now that we've chatted about our moments, Mesh, do you have predictions for this year's awards? Yes, so many. Okay, let's just stick to the main ones. <laughs> okay, so Courtney B. Vance has to win that award for lead actor in a movie or limited series because I just can't get enough of his performance. But like, there's just so many to choose and not enough time for me to tell you all about it. So I'd like Mom, Veep, House of Cards or Blackish definitely take a few wins. What about you? Hmm. I'd like to see Verda Davis hand the torch to Taraji P. Henson. I mean, a cookie in the house. And you guys were total BFFs when she came to the country. I mean, who can't get enough of a good Taraji one-liner and those outfits? Give the woman her award already. Yes, and Kerry Washington pulled off a stellar performance and confirmation. So yeah, I'd like to see her take that one as well. And with that, we're all done talking about the Primetime Emmys for this week. Catch more next week. Cheers. Bye.